I found this old digital camera from recycling bin and I'm going to hack this camera to make it night vision surveillance camera with motion detection. A lot of camera lens can actually see infrared spectral, which human eyes cannot see. So on top of the lens, they have a filter to block this infrared light, because without such filter, color of the pictures will look different from what we actually can see with the human eyes, and that's not what people want with their regular camera. But if you want to use it as a surveillance camera, this ability to see infrared light is very useful, because it can capture and record even in the dark without any visible light, and this is exactly what I want with this camera. So to convert this camera, I had to remove the IR filter. And this is how I did it. After opening the camera, I could finally see IR filter. I gently removed the rubber frame and was able to remove the IR filter. After that, I assembled it back. Because I don't have a battery charger for this camera, I had to power this camera from an external 12 volt adapter. So here, I'm soldering two wires to metal piece the battery is supposed to touch, and connecting the other end of the wire to the connector. When I tried to turn on the camera, it did not turn on at first. After spending some time, I discovered there is actually a small switch on the battery cover to detect whether the cover is closed or open. After I made sure the switch is pressed, I was able to turn on the camera from the battery which was almost run out. And this is me powering on directly from the, my bench power supply without the battery. It looks like the camera is drawing around 450 million from 3.9 volt, and now the low battery indicator is off. Without the IR filter, the color of my hand looked pretty reddish on LCD screen. But this is okay because we don't care about the details of color for surveillance recording. The next setup is to connect some wires to the shutter button. I'm doing this because I want my Arduino to control and press the button when there is motion detection. A digital camera usually has two modes of pressing button, half pressing and fully pressing. When the shutter button is half pressed, the camera adjusts the focus on the object it sees. When the button is fully pressed, the actual photo is taken. After checking around with the button on this camera, I found shorting the first two wires is the same as half pressing the button, and shorting all three wires is the same as fully pressing the button, as you can see here. Here, I'm just doing the same thing on the breadboard just to make sure. After figuring out the function of those wires connected to the button, I connect the wires to the optocoupler which act like a switches. And these optocouplers are controlled by the Arduino. I also connected motion sensor to the Arduino, so when motion is detected, it can press the camera's shutter button to take a picture or record a video. As you can see, the Arduino is able to trigger the camera to take photo whenever there is a movement. We can also see the actual signal Arduino is sending in the Azure scope. When the camera is in video mode, I also made Arduino to record 10 second video whenever there is any movement. As a source of infrared light, I got this infrared emitter. This IR emitter is smart enough to automatically turn on when there is not enough ambient light. When the IR is on, 
I could actually see a little bit of red light coming out of the LEDs. This is because even though this is infrared LED, there is small spectrum of visible light that is actually emitted by this infrared LED, which might be why I could see with my eyes. So this is my full setup for surveillance camera with motion detection. Here I'm demonstrating the effect of the IR emitter. When I turn off IR emitter, even though the camera should see infrared, it doesn't display anything on the LCD, simply because there is no infrared light in the room. But as soon as I turn on the IR emitter, the camera can see the environment very well even though I could not see anything at all with my eyes. I also tested motion detection. I activated motion detection with the Arduino. As soon as I step in to the front side of the motion sensor, the Arduino could trigger the camera to start recording 10 second video. And this is me pretending to be a thief and entering my apartment entrance door. As you can see, the camera could start recording as soon as I enter the door. This is the end of my video, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you guys next time.